Hey everyone, I will do draw the triangle two from the section SQL alternative queries in HackerRank. So the question asks us to print an asterisk followed by space a certain number of times in the case for P5 as an example. That means the very first one is gonna be an asterisk followed by space. Then the second one is gonna be two asterisks followed by space and so on up until the five, that means five asterisk space so to do this, I'll teach you first how you can repeat asterisks. Then we're going to put that in a loop, while loop, so that we can do multiple times instead of us having to write uh, 20 times as the question wants us. And then finally, we have to place that in the store procedure to be able to run. So let's go here. If you do select and the function is repeat star in 20, for example, that will, let me put a space after the asterisk. That's going to repeat uh, this string, the asterisk space, 20 times. So if I run code, that's what we get. So this would be the very last row in this problem. If I do 19, it's going to be asterisk space 19 times, concatenated. And if I do 18 and so on up until 1, which is basically essentially the same thing as without the repeat, you could do that to solve the problem and, and write these things 20 times, but that's not the smart way to do this. You should not do it that way. As programmers, you should do it with a loop. I'm going to call this i, so I'm going to add a variable there. That's going to change its value in every iteration. That is, it starts from 1 and goes up to 20. So the first time is going to be one repetition of the asterisk space. The next time i is going to become i plus one, which is two. So that's going to be asterisk space, asterisk space. So two times, right? And so on for three, four, five, up until 20. So to do that, we must declare i as a variable. So the name is i, the type is going to be int, an integer. And the initial value in this case is going to be one. So I'm going to say default space one semicolon. Now I'm going to have to place this inside a loop so it can repeat the same thing over and over as long as some condition is true. So I'm going to say while i is less than or equal to 20 do. And then I'm going to do whatever I want here inside. And then I'm going to say and while at the end semicolon. Now this is nice, the first time i is 1, 1 is less than or equal to 20, true. Because that is true, that executes everything between the do and the end while. So in this case, it would print uh, repeat asterisk space with i being 1, which is pretty much just asterisk space for the first one. And then the next time, I have to do for uh, i2, but to make that happen, I have to set the value of i, so set i to be i plus 1. That is, i initially 1 becomes 2. Then at the end of the block for the while, we have to check the condition again. Is 2 less than or equal to 20? True. Because it's true, we execute everything between the do and end while again. So that would repeat the asterisk star two times. And then i equals i plus 3, meaning i is becoming 2 plus 1, that's 3. 3 less than or equal to 20, true, repeat the same thing again, and so on up until i is going to be 20, so 20 less than or equal to 20, true, so it's going to be the repeat 20 times, and then 20 plus 1 is 21, 21 less than or equal to 20, that's false. Because it's false, it finally stops executing the statements for the while and keeps going in the next line after line 5. Okay, but to make that work, we need to create a star procedure and then execute it. So we're going to take this whole thing, place inside a begin, and then end here. Now I have to say create procedure and give it any name you want. I would say while underscore proc parentheses. And then I have to call the procedure. So call with the name that you give here. In this case, while proc parentheses semicolon. Now we are not done yet because there's a slight issue with my SQL that if you read the docs for defining stored programs, here's how they define the stored procedure. You're gonna run into this problem. If you use the MySQL client program to define a star program containing semicolon characters, problem arises. By default, MySQL 
itself recognizes the semicolon as statum delimiter. So the semicolon at the end of every statement in MySQL, it's called a delimiter, but we're gonna have a problem when we define the star procedure. So in order to get around the problem, we must redefine the delimiter temporarily to be something other than the semicolon. For example, we're gonna use dollar dollar or slash slash. And then after defining the procedure, we revert the delimiter back to a semicolon. Here's what they do, the delimiter slash slash do the procedure slash slash to finish the procedure because that's like the semicolon that we used to have. And then finally they bring it back to the delimiter to be semicolon and then call the procedure. So we're gonna do exactly that. So going back here, instead of the semicolon at the end of the create procedure, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use dollar dollar and then before the create procedure line, I have to say delimiter space dollar dollar. So I can change from semicolon to dollar dollar. And then once I do my procedure, I can revert back to delimiter semicolon. And then I can continue all my statements with the semicolon at the end. Okay, let's run the code. And there you go, that's the solution. You can see one star, two stars, three, with a space between up until 20.